Oh, hey. Didn't see you there. <laughs> How's it going, blockheads? <laughs> Today, we're going to be working on Block's personal Softail Lowrider S. Um, we're going to be actually be installing his signature Arlen S uh, tail lights. All the parts that we're going to be installing today are going to be in the description below. If you like the content you see today, please like, comment, and subscribe. Shouldn't be too bad of an install. Um, I don't like wiring, and I, if I can do this, you could totally do this. But yeah, let's get started. All right, so as you guys know, we've been having uh, Eric Bagger Bro link right there you guys be sure to go give him a follow he's been helping me a lot in the garage because uh we've been getting behind in editing while i'm editing he's in here and uh working on some bikes and he's showing you guys how to do some stuff so yeah eric first and foremost thank you appreciate you as always of course man <clears throat> you guys be sure to hit that like button for eric i know you guys are loving him on the channel so one day we're gonna hire him full time, pull him away from his nine to five job. Five. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So yeah, we've been we've been doing stuff to the uh, Softail Lowrider S for a bit. Just little upgrades here and there. We got the laydown plate. We got the uh, lower profile tail light. So we're basically doing the new tail lights here, the Arlen S ones, which are crazy bright. You guys will see by the end of the video. On the Sportster, it's a little more difficult to wire these up, but on the new Softails, it's not near as bad just because of how they have the wiring through the uh, fender support brackets there. Handing it off to Eric and he'll guide you guys through it. All right, Blockheads. So we're gonna be installing these Arlen S tail lights and uh, this is everything we're gonna be using. You really don't need to use that guy, but I like using that guy because power tools. We're gonna be using some wire cutters to cut some zip ties, cut some sheathing back on the, like the main harness so that we can use these T-taps. I love these freaking solder buck connectors. We're gonna cut the wires, strip them, and then you run the wires, one on each end, right? And then you hit it with a heat gun and the solder actually melts to the wire. We're gonna use some shrink tubing, a T45 Torx bit to do the side rails, T45 to undo these guys. Because the wires actually run inside here and come out the side right into the harness. I don't want to touch the main harness of the bike, so I'm going to probably get cut right here and then use those um, those solder butt connectors. Right side is black, and then there's the gray for the left side. Tap into this, right? And then this harness here is for the brake light, so I'm going to cut back here and use two T-taps for the running light, and then, yeah, go on from there. First thing I'm going to do is bust off these T45 bolts. And we all know how Block likes to make bobbers, so with this new soft tail frame, you can easily turn this into a bobber. You literally just take these four bolts off and there's no fender on the back. It's awesome. Nope. Oops. And that's how that comes off. <laughs> I'm nervous now. So we kind of did a thing. Just pull the whole thing off, right? So now we got this club style fenderless bike. What would you call that? A clubber, club style bobber, nice. All right, so here we go, we got the fender off. So you got the two bolts that connect to the main part of the frame and then these two fender strut bolts. But then there's these, these guys in here that are hiding. So I need to take this, finish taking this guy out, and then I can put the fender down somewhere, flip this fender strut over, and wire the new Arlen S run turn brake light. All right. Voila. All right, I need to put a zip tie. No, I like these. Oh well. All right, let's move this guy out of the way. This is the inside of the fender strut. Get the wire coming through there. You gotta take out this bolt. It's actually a T40. Let's knock that out. Oh, that was easy. Nice. For bam, for blip, for blam. All right, we could throw that in the trash or give it away to somebody. Arlen baby. 
Old and busted. New hotness. Old and busted. New hotness. Let's do it. Oh man, that's so nice. So wish I'd put these on my dyna. Definitely gonna have to use more of the stock wire because this is not long enough. All right, so for these, for these studs, what I'm gonna do, like it's kind of like a permanent thing, more or less. So I'm gonna use red Loctite to go into the body of the light. And then it's got an Allen here. This is, it's standard. It's a Gabagoo. Bottom it out, get the rest of that stuff off. On the Lowrider S, these lights, the outer lights are actually just turn, they're just turn signals, right? So we're gonna be using the purple ones for running lights. So it's like a dimmer light. The blue one's bright, and then the black one obviously is ground. So what we're gonna do is gonna use these two. So I taped up the end on this, and we're gonna put that aside. We're gonna use these two and run it as if it was the factory one. So the factory colors use purple and black. So the blue's gonna go to purple, and the black's gonna go to black. And then this plugs, it's gonna be like, like this, right? And then this plugs back into the main body harness. We're gonna get um, what's called the triple play from Custom Dynamics. Um, details for that in the description below. And what it'll do is it's gonna make these two wires and this turn signal turn into the run, brake, and uh, turn signal. That'll come later. So for now, we're just wiring them as turn signals. We have another problem. You see how this stud comes out past this? There's no hole here on the fender so i'm gonna have to take a dremel and cut that down yay all right so we're getting these bolts on hold on it's not snuggy yet until i get this guy in all the way lock tight 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 yuck lock tight on the fingies let's not forget this guy Tight. Nice. All right. Now, let's see how it came out. Say what? All right, so we're gonna try this new uh, angle and uh, we're gonna do uh, the left side now. Let's see. Take your T45 and knock out these bolts. What am I doing? Yeah, more power. Voila, there you go. We're gonna put this guy away. Mm, so heavy. Mm -hmm. I had to trim that so it would clear the fender. Got it good and, good and tight. It's got uh, some Loctite in there. Let's test the light, right? the light Ooh -wee. look at that hey puppy so to the harness went ahead and cut it made me cry a little bit oh well, my favorite part trying to splice or separate these two wires without cutting into one of the wires you gotta be very careful take your time all right that should be enough Trust your wire strippers. Mm -hmm. All right. There you go. Bam, bam. Wham, bam. All done. Now let's go ahead and put this back on the fender. Almost done. We're at the home stretch, everybody. Woohoo! Let's 
Okay, it goes like this, right here, like this. Very nice. So we're back at the bike. It was pretty much the reverse of taking this apart. We went ahead, ran the new tail lights, our new turn signal slash brake light slash turn light through the fender strut, right? Out of the fender strut, into the, the plugs over here, right? Same thing with the other side, over here, around. I, was, I managed to be able to reuse uh, these clips again to give it that factory look. Plug those in, gray goes into the gray plug, black goes into the black plug. And then this main harness here for the tail light. It's all back together. Let's give it a shot. Let's see what it looks like. Fingers crossed. I didn't mess it up. All right, here we go. Ready? Yeah. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. Woof. Arlaness, you know what you're doing. So if you like today's video, please give it a like, maybe comment, you know, subscribe would be nice. These tail lights, you can find them, like I said earlier, on Get Lowered, Revzilla, Amazon, you know. All right, anyway, out of here, blockheads. I'm gonna waste some lunch, peace.